LKCO stock, Luokong Technology Corp. It closed the session of the 16th of September 2021 at $1.54. And there's a news out there. It is that the company said its affiliate eMap Go Technology has signed a cooperation agreement with Microsoft to launch autonomous driving services for automakers. Under the terms of the deal, eMapGo will work with Microsoft to provide auto manufacturers with services including the collection, storage, analysis, management and simulation testing of autom autonomous driving data. eMapGo said it expects to continue working with Microsoft to provide data services when large-scale commercialization of autonomous driving takes place. Okay, so that was the news that saw the stock rally um, yesterday the 16th of September 2021 so looking at what's going on with the stock we saw that there was a downward trend that uh, pro probably began sometime in June and sometime in August I think August 20th it ended and uh, that end was confirmed with this rally this mini rally we had we saw we we are looking at right now it uh, reached its peak on the 26th of August at $1.66. So currently now the stock has also since that time corrected, retraced, pulled back. But all in all, given what has occurred of late now, we can say it is consolidating all that, uh, all that um, bullishness that it exhibited um, all the way up to the 26th of August should be trading at uh, $1.66. So given what is, has just happened yesterday, the 16th, we can conclude that the stock is indeed consolidating those gains. It pulled back now, try to move up again. You know, it's a consolidation. So volumes so far, what are we looking at here? You can see it is a 6.817 million for the last six days, but on Yahoo Finance, it's saying 3.3 .3 million. So all in all, the, um, of late, yes, the volumes, especially yesterday, the 16th, the volume definitely must have been higher. We don't exactly have that figure, but before that time, the volumes were not exceptional, given what um, we're looking at over there. And also comparing that with uh, the floats, which is about 183 million. So, but at the same time, you know, you know, we all always know that uh, the floats doesn't like, uh, actually mean that uh, that is absolutely what is trading. We can also see that uh, it has a volatility of 177.91%, definitely indicating that even though we have 183 million shares floated, definitely not all of them are trading. So it indicates that a very small number may be trading. And also this is a penny stock as well. Yeah, so and uh, we have not seen it really skyrocket, you know, beyond uh, penny stock level. Yet also another confirmation that maybe whenever it rallies, Maybe those who haven't been traded bring their money out and uh, take, you know, you can see that what what happened here, you know. So yes, uh, yeah, definitely the the, the 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 float comes to play when the stock rallies. So uh, when things are quiet, those who are active tend to push it up, but when it uh, when it sees huge gains, you know, the bigger picture, the bigger float also brings it back down to earth. But um i think um the those who are more active are by far more those who are trading the stock regularly are by far more active than those you know who are not you know so i mean i mean i'm just saying obvious isn't it um well you know the, vo the vol volatility indicates that um you know what actually does play trade a lot is mostly the uh, what actually trades a lot is mostly a small amount of the float so um yeah okay all in all it appears to be consolidating within a longer term uptrend as we indicated earlier the average directional index or adx is below 20 indicating that the shares have uh, traded sideways recently however the 200 day movement is still sloping bullishly upwards the stock is uh, underperforming the s p 500 momentum is strongly bullish the 14 period slow stochastic escalator is rising as investors pay higher prices for shares the unbalanced volume indicator share shows that longer term setting pressures given way to near, near term accumulation by traders. So um, the stock looks good and it's uh, still a penny stock and still trading within its uh, short and intermediate moving averages. And 
yes if you want to get involved with a stock by all means uh, you know do your due diligence and uh, see how things uh, pan out okay so we'll continue to update you on um, LKCO stock thank you very much for watching this